everybody. Um, I know it's been a long time since I did vlogs, especially in the car, or just pretty much ever. I, I think the last vlog I did was change the channel versus channel awesome. <sighs> oh my god. Yeah, not exactly the comeback I was hoping to make for my supercharged channel, but mostly the reason I uploaded that onto my other channel, onto Supercharged Productions channel, is because, like, you know, Cinematic Venom is kind of a D-bag, you know? Um, you know, he's, he's, like, looking at people's subscriber counts and things like that, so I mostly... So mostly I didn't want him to sit there trying to troll me and say, oh look, he's got this tiny little channel with only five subscribers. And meanwhile, I'm sitting, I have a channel of like almost 2,000 subscribers. So, and then I ended up sending him a tweet. I basically tweeted the video to him and told him about it. And I said, I feel like you have the right to know that I made this thing as you're in it. And, you know, I kind of mentioned you a few times. So the only, and like the only real response I got was like, he was basically saying, it sounds like I'm apologizing for Channel Awesome or I'm defending them. And I'm like, no, I won't. And, you know, I basically said I would never defend, like, sexual assault or anything like that. But I just feel like the change the channel side, you know, their cases, their cases are kind of weak. I don't really care about, like, Allison getting fired after, your, like, 15 minutes of not responding to a text or something like that. It's like, I don't care about that shit. Yeah, you know, it, it, is, that, is that bad? Yes. That's definitely bad management. You know, that's definitely a knee-jerk. You know, that, that, that's definitely bullshit, but that's not really... That's not really what they're... It's not really something worth harassing the shit out of uh, Channel Awesome over. It's like, whatever. So anyway, uh, that's enough of what I what I did. On to where the fuck have I been? What have I been doing? Right? Um, honestly, guys, these last couple of months have just been kind of rough for me. So yeah, pretty much August and September have pretty much been really rough months for me um, financially. Uh, for starters, that's why I haven't been doing. Yu-Gi-Oh! Openings videos. <laughs> oh, shit. It's like every time I have goes to rent or to groceries, to food, or out of shampoo and things like that. It's like, fuck! Yeah, like, that's one thing that's been driving me nuts. It's like everything... Uh, it's like when it, when it comes to, like, my personal prop, like, my personal hygiene stuff... I always run out of everything all at once. It's like, shit! Uh, it's like, I, I run out of shampoo and, de and deodorant the same day as my, as like my uh, body washes out. I'm like, damn! Today I pretty much used the last of my shampoo. Luckily, like I'll probably get like another squirt or two out of it tomorrow, but that's about it. That's it, it's kaput. Luckily I get paid tomorrow. Shit. So, you know, it's, it's like, it's it's these small things, but it keeps adding up. It's like, fuck! Oh, great, now I need this now, too. Oh, shit, now I need this. Oh, crap, this bill's due. Damn it! Typically, August and September are really bad months for me, because that's kind of, because, like, August is when Trenton Thunder, there's not a whole lot of games being played. Alright, so, like, August is typically not a very busy month for Trenton Thunder. I mean, it, it, it is and it isn't. Um, like, pretty much... You know, like, like they like they have quite a few games, but they're typically spaced out enough. So it's like I'll work for four days and be off for a week. And then I work six games, only be a... Okay, then I'm available... F okay... Then we'll have like a six-day home stretch, but I'm only available for four days, and then we get, and then we go into like another three-day, three or four days, and then it's like, okay, so it's it's like things like that keep cropping up in in uh, in August, you know, at, at Thunder. So it's like, you 
you know, that's the, that's the kind of... So then, like, I might get... Even if I get, like, a six-day homestand, a full six days, you know, and I work all six of them, it'll be something like... Um, like, because of the way it breaks up, like, four days will be one paycheck, next two days won't be till the next paycheck or something like that. That's the kind of problems that I have working at Trent Thunder, but... Okay, so baseball season's over, and the problem, and see, the other problem is, is that at the beginning of September, when schools are just starting up and I'm going back to Dapper, that's pretty much, yeah, there's not a whole lot, like, there's, that's pretty much when, like, everybody's having, like, half days and things like that, this, you know, schools are off a lot, so I'm not really, uh, I'm not really working a lot at first, um, so it's, it, it, it's things like that, like a lot of, it's like, well, you have, you have to work on this day and this day, it's like, yeah, um, this school only has, this school's only in session, uh, you know, starting on Wednesday, and this school starts on Tuesday, and, well, you don't need to be in until later this day, and, you know, it's when the schedules are all fucking mess. So, you know, so I'm missing a lot of days of work uh, at at the bus company at Dapper. So that's kind of where shit... That's kind of where life gets to be a pain in the butt. You know, like... Or, or, the, or the one paycheck uh, we got, it was only $30. Because the only thing that was actually on it was, like, the... Um, we, we always have, like, a meeting before the school year starts. So that was the only thing on the paycheck. So everybody kind of... <laughs> People are getting, and for and like some people had like extra taxes withheld or something like that. I think is how that worked. I don't know. So they had, so they had like, so they're bringing home. So their, so their first paycheck was like five bucks. <laughs> it was like crap. <laughs> I don't know something about the way they do their taxes or whatever. So it's like instead of thirty dollars, they got like five bucks. You know. So uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause here. So. I'm going to post a video right here, uh, so I'll be right back. For you, it'll be about two seconds. For me, it's going to be about three, uh, two and a half hours. I'll see you guys later. Okay, so uh, scratch that, guys. I guess for you, it'll be actually, for me, it'll be about half a day. Um, yeah, it's been about 12 hours. No, actually not, actually not even. Um, I don't know. So, yeah, when I left you guys, it was like, it was about quarter, I guess it was about 5.30 p.m. Now it's about almost 1 o'clock the next day. So, actually, yeah, that's actually over uh, 12 hours. So, about 18 hours, you know. But for you, it's still been about two seconds. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry about that. I kind of forgot. I was like, so... So yeah, anyway, last okay, when I left off I told you guys da 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 I was talking about work, right? So which is by the way where I'm headed right now. Yeah, I've pretty much I've been kinda broke lately, so that's why I haven't even been doing my Yu-Gi-Oh openings videos. I got a couple of like political videos that I'm about to release. Um So I'm filming this uh, today's actually Friday. I'm gonna try to release this on Saturday, just just to kind of make up for my extended absence from pretty much all social media except for Facebook and Twitter, which is actually kind of traumatizing for me. You know the fact that I've actually been using my Twitter account. Oh my God! So I yeah I had my digital imaging class. Yeah, I've actually been going back to school. I don't know if I, I don't know if I told you guys that yet. But anyway, went back to school, actually back in February. Actually, it was like late January. I think it was like the last week of January. But like, we didn't actually get into the class class, okay? So I retook a cinema class that I had previously taken and flunked uh, because like, I don't know. It, it's, it, it was really difficult to pass uh, because of the way the class was set up back then. It was like, you either pass or you fail. Like there was no in between. Gotta get that back on track. Um, so, and yeah, so did I pass this time? Absolutely. I passed it with like, I think it was like a B plus. It was just, what kind of sucks about it is it was just enough that I didn't 
get my GPA up where I needed it to be. I needed it to be at like a 2.0. Well, it went up from like a 1.6 to like a 1.9. I was like, no, shit. So by the grace of my sister, um, I managed to pull the, so I managed to get that paid for, which is great. So my sister paid for me to uh, retake a cinema class. Passed it, awesome. I pulled an F up to a B, and right now I'm taking a digital imaging class, so right now I'm going to be... So it should be an easy class to pass. Um, so, far it's, so far it's been going good for me, I think. I hope. Um, yeah, I actually don't know what my grade is right now, but I've been turning in all my work. I showed up to all the classes so far. I don't think I missed any of the classes. I think I got them all. Um, there, was, there was just like the one class period where the professor wasn't there, so he like actually canceled class. But but other than that, I attended every class. Yeah, oh, I'm actually doing pretty good right now. I don't know. So we'll see. We'll see. So right now I just need to like. So I'm gonna go back to doing um to doing um. Yu-Gi-Oh! pack openings again, and like, I know, like, in like the two months that I've been away, like, two, two and a half months, whatever it's been, I don't know, August, September, October, okay, so like, yeah, like two and a half months since I've been away, there's been like a ton of shit released, and I need to get all of it. I need to get, like, seriously, I have, oh man, like, oh man, the new Yu-Gi-Oh! video game came out. I'm like super psyched for that. Um, uh, the one for Nintendo Switch, what is it? Legacy of the Duelist uh, Link, Link Evolution? Yeah, definitely need to get that. Definitely need the gold, okay. I'm not excited to get the gold sarcophagus, but I'll do it for you guys. Um, honestly, as far as the new gold sarcophagus is concerned, um, I don't know. Like, I don't know if I would recommend it. Because it's like, like, the, like, I'm looking at, like, the vampire support. It's, like, it's cards we've already gotten at lower quality, at, like, lower rarities. So I don't know if I would necessarily recommend that. And, like, the only thing that seems really good about it is the promos. The rest of it, I'm sorry to say, I don't really care that much. Like, the cards are really not that impressive. Like, and the one I thought would be, like, highly coveted is the new Ultimate Dragon they released, the new Blue Eyes ultimate dragon apparently not nobody like i actually bought two of them on amazon for like two dollars a piece it's like two dollars that's it for blue eye for a brand new blue eyes ultimate come on you'd think it'd be a little bit higher coveted than that i'm thinking they're, i'm thinking they're gonna go for like 15 20 bucks a piece no 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 no, no, no not at all i don't know what people are thinking right now Apparently, it's not a very coveted card, and there's also a new Exodia. Holy shit. And nobody seems to want those either. Hmm. Those are the ones I'm looking for, so. Um. And I also, oh, I do have another political video. I did, uh, I've actually already got it edited and completed, but, you know, I haven't released it as of this recording. I don't know which I'm going to do first, either this video or the, uh, <laughs> It's, it's kind of a political video, kind of a cultural vid, uh, video, so I'm kind of calling somebody out in this one, you know, and you, but like I'm using the editing to do the call out re and the, like the title of the video rather than just, you know, appear on it myself. I don't like appearing in my political videos, you know, for me, I, you know, I, I kind of try to let the editing, the way I edit the videos kind of speak for themselves. Anyway, guys, uh, I don't want to get, I don't want to uh, be here too long. I actually have to go inside now. Um, you know, let them know I'm here and all that. So I will catch you guys later. Um, I don't know, in my next vlog, I guess. Maybe a week or two or something. I don't know. Depends on when I decide to make something. I don't know. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Hey everyone, this is Richard Baranowski. I hope you all enjoyed the video you just saw, and if you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to give this video a like and a share, and also please support me on Patreon. I hope to see you all in my next video. Take care.